My name is uh, Keith Matthews. I'm Professor of Parasite Biology at the University of Edinburgh School of Biological Sciences. Now the research that we've been doing in my lab has been geared towards developing interver in interventions and uh, preventative measures for the treatment of infectious diseases of cattle. Now obviously, uh, if effective, these have the benefit that they Im Im improve cattle well-being and also productivity. But because cattle also transmit a number of diseases to humans, they have the potential to improve human health and well-being. And examples of uh, organisms that are spread from cattle to humans include things like E. coli, uh, salmonella, and also in developing countries, a number of tropical diseases. Now currently, uh, most therapies for infectious diseases in cattle are based on using drugs. Now these have the disadvantage that they're expensive, uh, they need to be delivered on a regular basis and also they introduce unwanted antibiotics into the environment. A better option is the use of vaccination and historically um, the most effective vaccines have been those that are based on using attenuated pathogens. By this I mean pathogens which are not able to cause disease in the cattle and yet still generate an effective immune response. The downside of that kind of vaccination is the attenuated pathogens are difficult and expensive to produce and there's always the risk they could return to pathogenicity and cause disease in the inoculated animal. A more modern approach has been the use of subunits of pathogens, for example proteins, and delivering those in a vaccine formulation uh, into the blood of the cow. The downside of these, however, is that the, the vaccine is delivered in a large single dose and therefore potentially doesn't generate the kind of effective and realistic immunity that would be generated by a natural infection with a pathogen in the blood of a cow sustained over a period of time. What we've done in our lab is to develop a novel vaccine delivery system based on the organism Trypanosoma thylerae. Now Trypanosoma thylerae is a single-celled organism that normally lives in cows. In fact, almost all cows worldwide already have these organisms circulating in their blood. Now because my lab has a long history of working on organisms related to Trypanosoma thylerae, it's been quite straightforward for us to engineer Trypanosoma thylerae to uh, take up and express proteins from pathogens and to deliver them into the blood of inoculated cows where we hope that it can generate a more realistic and sustained immunity to the more short-term conventional immunization approaches. Now we've already tried this out for one particular uh, parasite, again uh, the parasite Babesia. We've expressed in cows using the T-thylerite system uh, an antigen from Babesia and by analyzing the responses of those cows to the delivered protein we've been able to confirm that we get very effective immune responses as good as, if not better, than the conventional vaccination approach. So what we've been able to do is to develop a really novel vaccine delivery system uh, which is very flexible, is able to express a large range of different antigens against different pathogens, it's safe, it's sustained for a long period of time and therefore likely to generate very effective uh, immune responses in recipient cows. It's cheap to produce, it's effective, and it's reproducible. And we hope that it will be effective for a large number of different pathogens of livestock. If you'd like to find out more about this technology or other commercialization opportunities from the University of Edinburgh, please get in contact with Edinburgh Research and Innovation.